What up, y'all? It's your boy Cyrax in the house. Shout out to my motherfucking brothers. Over at Bender Boys Records. Shout out to the big homie CPN. Shout out to play Ninja. I figured I'd just come in. Kick it with y'all. Figured since I'm making it big time. May as well rock the swagger to go with it, boys. Now it appears to me that we have some issues with certain people who will not be named. But they're being dealt with. Straight up. Shout out to the Bender Boys. What's good, bro? Shout out to BBR. Bender Boys Records, what's good? I figured I'd come in, celebrate, kick it, chill. Got a brand new dope-ass track dropping with some of the homies. Like the big homie George. What's goody, what's goody, what's goody? I think your boy may as well drop in. Say what's up. But yo, Bender Boys, what's good, bros? How you guys doing, huh? Yeah, y'all little bitch ass haters didn't think I could dress up, did you? Yeah, you can't do this. And you see the back of this jacket right here? Soon enough, the BBR patch is going right there, boys. Right on that motherfucking back. You want to know why? Because I read BBR to the fucking death of me. And every fucking label that I've rocked over the years. Killer Clown sounds on this song. Bloodshot Records right here. And right on the motherfucking back, boys. Motherfucking Bender Boys Records. Echo Side Entertainment on this song. You want to know why? I rep all those labels that got me to where I am. Whether it's Killer Clown Sounds, whether it's Bloodshot Records, whether it's Echo Side Entertainment, or whether it's my current label, Bender Boys Entertainment. Those labels and those day ones are the guys that got me to where I'm at. So to the real fans, y'all killed it. And to the Bender Boys, I want to say thank you, man. You want to know why? Because I got an opportunity to change my kids' lives. 100%. So if y'all bitches want to step to the best, you're looking at them, boys. You're looking at the new... Hottest artist on the motherfucking scene. And if you wait and subscribe to Bender Boys Records or the Bender Boys YouTube channel, go check them out, son. They got some dope ass shit. Yo, Fat Scott, what it do? Definite, man. Definite. Like I said, the minute that I get that BBR patch, as soon as I get that shit, that's going right on the back of this motherfucking jacket, son. You want to know why? Because these guys gave me the opportunity that no one else did. These guys did something that nobody else did. They took me on and gave me a real chance to make real money. Oh, definitely, drama. Definitely, man. But there is four people I have to thank above all else. Well, it's anyway, five. One, my family. Two, God himself. 
three, my girl, four, my son, Elliot, and five, my beautiful, wonderful daughter, Leah, man. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And most importantly, though, I do want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and a beautiful fucking family that I can support every day. Yo, bad Jesus. What up, what up, what up, what up, man? See, well, these little bitches, Music Biz Marty and his little fuck buddy, Siznak, are running around with their heads cut off. We're out here making moves. <laughs> Young Tom Cruise, my ass, man. I ain't no Tom Cruise. I ain't trying to be no Tom Cruise either. Yo, Van Plejean, what's goody? Hey, yo, boss, should I drop that verse for him one time, man? Should I let him get a sneak peek of that track? Yo, Van Bledgen, what's goody, my dude? All right, all right, I got you, boss. I got you. Now, if y'all don't know, man, me and this dude right here, we got some dope shit dropping for your fucking ear holes. Ooh, yo, that shit's gonna be fire, son. I can't wait to hear that shit. Honestly, bro, I can't wait to hear your verse on that. I'm hyped for that verse, my dude. Hey, yo, Van Legend, go ahead and have fun here, big homie. Y'all don't know, man. Vampire Legend, man, that's one of my little brothers right there. Kid's a boss, man. Like Eminem, the dude can spit. Oh, bro, I've already got my shit ripped. I already got my shit taken care of, dude. I already got one song out plus my verse for the collab. Yeah. What up, Van? What's good, my bro? That was happening, homie. How you feel being in, uh, what is it, Bender Boys Records, homie? How you feel? Feels pretty damn good, my dude. I'll tell you that much. That's what's up, man. Already knocked out two tracks this morning, bro. Yeah, yeah, I feel. You got one song knocked out and then a verse for a collab with this big man right here, man. Big George, that's good, bro. Or Violent George, my bad, Violent. I keep on getting you and another dude mixed up because there's another good friend of mine named Big George. I keep getting you and him mixed up, but uh, chill. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Keith, what's good? But like I said, yo, Jesus, don't worry, man. I got you. The album was going to be huge, man. I promise you it's going to be dope. But yo, man, what's good with you today, man? What you got going on, man? See, about to pop up with some studio time, homie. Hell yeah, man. I feel it. Man. I feel it. I literally just got done a little bit ago, man. I fucking got done recording, hopping in the shower, done, yeah, yeah. showing up. I pay, I think it's like 10 to $11 an hour for studio time. Dude, why would you, bro? You don't even need a studio, dude. Like, honestly, bro, let me give you a little tip on something, bro. What I did, I built my own home studio, man. I didn't even like need to pay for anything. All the shit I do is right here from home, dude. You don't even need to be paying for a studio. Shit. I do, I, I do all my, bro. I do all my shit through Band Lab and FL Studios. Well, I'm I'm keeping studio to like get like my own little setup going. You feel? Cause I already got like a I got like a little face cam set up on my shit, and then I got a, a my yeah. shit. Yeah. But, 
Yo, I keep know. saying it's good, man. But yeah, I feel it, dude. I feel it. How's everything been on your end as far as recording, dude? Um, sleeping. <laughs> sure, Keep right. Up. Right, though? Hey, yeah. What does this dude say? What's up, Captain? Yo, Captain Flannel. What's good, brother? Two songs from Weirdo from Mars were recording. Yo, that's what's up. Y'all keep it real. Oh, dude, I've been fucking murking it all goddamn morning, dude. That's what's up. Like, as soon as my girl headed into the work, I sat down, did the first song within 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, I knocked out the collab verse from the Weirdo from Mars album, and it's a done deal. What kind of what kind of rap does he do? Does he do fast rap, slow rap? Like, well, what kind of rap does he do? A little, it varies. Uh, so it's like here and there? Yeah, pretty much. That's what's happening. <sighs> Shit, on the real. Cyrax got the Terminator shades on. Bro, Cyrax is the right. living legend himself, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Y'all don't mess with the homie Cyrax, bro. He get on your head. Dude, have you seen the guys that I murked this morning before I even started recording? Hell like, yeah. Uh, who was that one bitch, bro? The one bitch that kept hopping up in your shit. I wonder who yo, was. believe it or not, dude, that was actually one of my favorite fucking YouTubers IRL moments. And I didn't even recognize her, dude. Are you serious? Yeah, I was like, what? But I will admit, dude, shit got awkward real fucking quick. Not even gonna lie, that shit got awkward real quick. Bro, she kept she kept doing them little like I don't know little dance moves and shit. Bro, I was like, what the fuck is she smoking, bro? <laughs> right. I mean, not gonna lie, dude, I am a fan of her shit on her channel, dude. Not gonna lie, she does have some dope stuff. But bro, I'm thinking, man. Sorry, y'all. For all the ladies out there wondering, sorry, y'all. I already got a woman. I'm happy. I got two beautiful stepkids. Hey, Sorry, don't bro. don't forget the golden rule, though, bro. It's not gay if it's a three way. You feel? <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just playing, homie. Hey. Yo, BC, what to do? <laughs> nah, man, these on nah, man, these ain't no Terminator shades. These are more like fucking blade shades, homie. Oh, uh, bro, blades the shit though. Oh, dude, straight up, like. Like that dude who said he'd fight Goku, he get his ass full, but I'll keep it real, he's pretty dope. Oh, dude, that dude was <laughs> boss, man, straight up. Hell yeah. Like, yo, what's new with you guys, man? Fill me in, fill me in. Talk to me, boys. Yeah, what's up, chat? What y'all been up to? Yo, cat. Drama. Fill me in, boys. What's good? And as a matter of fact, I do have a little song for you guys that I started to play last night, which is my little brother Bradley's brand New song just dropped the other day. Dope ass shit, man. Straight up. The kid's fucking fire. That's all I got to say. The kid's fucking straight fire. Yo, and dude, I also do, like I said before, and I've said this many times, but I cannot say it enough, man. Huge, huge shout out to the big homie CPM, man, for giving me your blessing in the music industry. Man, like straight up, dude. Getting your blessing into the music industry like that, man, that's fucking huge, dude. Hell yeah. So what y'all motherfuckers been up to today, man? I'm sitting here chilling, waiting for my girl to get off work. Waiting for her to come home. Well, not here, home, but get off work. Chill, wait for these next couple weeks to come by. And then once that happens, go down there, pick her up, bring her back here, and call it good. 
Hell yeah, I feel you. I feel you, homie. Bro, so what's up with Jamie, bro? Like, I haven't heard from her ever since that giant, like, conflict. Yo, she's doing good, man. I just talked to her a few minutes ago. That's what's up. Cyrax is making moves. Bro, he making some big boy moves, what y'all mean? <laughs> Hell yeah. But yo, y'all ready to hit my boy Bradley drop some shit? Shit. <laughs> shit. Now, this is one of my dead one boys right here, man. Straight up. Bro, it's night. Some abandoned house is gonna light up. The sky's full moon. Showing the night. It's night. Some abandoned house is gonna light up. The sky's full moon. Showing the night. It's death ghost night. On your rich lawns, stealing candy, planting pipe bombs. It's devil's night. Yeah, oh, it's night. night. Some abandoned house. <laughs> it is, dude, bro. Shit ain't hot. Bro, that shit was clean as fuck, bro. It was fire as hell. Shout out to my motherfucking little brother Bradley, man. It's fucking lighting that shit. <laughs> Ignite the fuse to let it blow, boy. That's what you yeah, gotta hell do. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. I've been waiting 10 fucking years <laughs> for this shit. 10 years, man. Hey, y'all, if y'all ain't checked out my little brother Bradley. That's the song right there called Devil's Like, Yo, cop that shit. Check it out. It is available on all platforms, by the way, too. So. Yeah, excuse me. But if I'm supposed to be a better, better in the view, the better is a better, 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 I don't even know what to feel like. Hey, hell yeah, dude. Yo, that one, uh, that one Elvis, bro, he was talking some shit, so. Yo, yeah. I was dying over that bullshit this morning, though, dude. Like, when my girl was on break, all that bullshit that popped up, I was laughing, bro. I'm like, yo, like, nobody gives a fuck about how much shit you got. Bro, he said God got a plan for him. The only plan God got planned for that, bro, is, like, you're going to hell. That's exactly. He's going straight to hell. Sucks to be him, don't it? <laughs> when, once you put your, once you sign a contract for anything, bro, you sell your soul, nigga. That's selling yourself. 
You you signed a contract. You sold your soul, dog. You, you done. He signed a song. He signed a contract with the worst businessman in the world, bro. Yeah, he did. I don't even know the guy in real life, bro. But I ain't gotta know him to tell him how he is. Sorry to say, Cisnac, but you done fucked up, big homie. So you so. Yo, sis, you sided with the wrong side, my dude. You could have been balling and kicking it with us, man. But uh, what can I say? You a snake. And you know what they say about snakes? They get their heads chopped off. I saw them in the bed, but they can't follow me. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, some real shit. I'm tired as hell, but I don't want to go to sleep, dude. I gotta watch, I gotta watch kids and shit. <laughs> right. So, so I'm... I know it's gotta be hectic for you, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Taylor's asleep. Yeah, kind of thing. Dude, that motherfucker always sleeps in. Yeah, he does. He don't wake up till like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep it real with you. Dude, if that guy could sleep all day, he probably fucking would. Dude, like a, he's like a vampire, bro. And I'm not even, like, I mean that with every passion, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. y'all got to bounce up out of here. I'll catch all you crazy fucks later on, man. Peace. Later on, man. Later. <sighs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> it says that I'm still alive. What the fuck? You gonna usually end it or something? What the fuck? Y'all, I'm so tired. So, like, y'all chopped me off a break. But, uh,. Yeah, he did leave me on here, bro. <laughs> Fucking coon. Bruh, this dude. <laughs> it's a some shit on me. Uh. <laughs> Ramps got bars, rap vamps, spit some shit on me. But I'll probably spit some shit, but I'm running on no sleep because I'm having to watch the babies. And the only actual adult in the house is passed the fuck out, so. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Shit. You're not an adult yet. I'm 17, actually. 17 in some places is considered an adult. Here it is. It's considered adult. But as far as like when I think of adult, I think of like 20 or older is what I think of. And my brother's 24. He's passed the fuck out, but I'm I'm 17, homie. So by law, I'm an adult, but I don't act like when I'm not even been alive, bro. I act like I'm like 12. I keep it real. I'm hyper as hell. But for some reason, like just right now, bro, I'm out of it, bro. I've been watching kids. I don't even like kids that much. I love my baby to death. She a month. Her name's Haley. She one month, bro. But as far as watching like little cousins and shit like that, hell no. You got me fucked up. I already got one mouth to feed, bro. I ain't feed more. <sighs> shit. I'm just going to read the comments, bro. Wow. You 
were 16 and pregnant. I was 16 and pregnant. No, my baby mama was 16 and pregnant when I was 16. And then I turned 17, and she doesn't turn 17 until next month. So. But. Or hold up. We were both 16. And then I aged up and she's aging up some. But we got a baby and she's she's like the cutest thing you'll ever find out, bro. She's so it's like the way she looks, you feel? She got like the blonde hair, the blue eyes type shit, bro. It's like a blessing, a blessing from the skies. But it's gonna be hard for me to take care of that baby. You sit on the computer all day instead of getting a job to provide your child. My job is on the computer, to be honest. I do a bunch of shit for a bunch of people, it just depends. And then during days I go and I do yard work. Could be Down syndrome. Whatever, homie. I ain't even finna be like, you know, Cyrax and everything, bro. Y'all, y'all say what y'all don't give a shit, bro. Y'all some clowns. I already know it. This whole fucking thing's a troll, bro. You can tell. This is some fake ass acting. So you sit on the computer all day instead of getting a job, ride your child. Yeah, my job's basically on the computer. And then here and there, I'll get calls from a couple people. I go and I do like yard work or some shit. I can cop about two, three hundred off of like maybe a day or two of uh, yard work. <sighs> Takes out the trash for extra cash. She. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Get a real job, loser. Ah, shit. That's just a. Uh... Y'all talk y'all shit. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Keep talking. Wash the dishes for a couple bucks. I used to work at Burger King. I stayed up all night. Upset that you're going. You try to. We sell Ram Ranch Records. I don't even know Ram Ranch Records, homie. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I, I met Cyrex not long ago. Maybe about a month ago. He kept telling me he had beef. I was like, well, what's up? What's the beef with? He tells me some faggot named Music Biz Marty. So I'm like, oh. And I'm like, all right, so what, what's up? He's like, nothing, bro. It's just trying to sign me over. And he told me about the Ram Red Records shit. And like, I'm, I'm still a little confused on it. I don't, I'm just, I'm, I'll be a close friend and everything. And I'll, I'll back him up. 